Hi guys, um, it's great to be here. How are you doing? It's been a busy day with a lot of demos. Um, so hopefully I can give you a little bit different perspective of image generation and image generation possibilities. Um, so before I start, I just wanted to ask you, because I saw the previous speaker did it and I didn't see the result. Um, how many designers are here? Oh wow, okay. Uh, how many marketers are here? Okay, quite a few, and everybody else. <laughs> um, so how many times do you use AI tools in your workflow? Um, who uses AI tools at least every other day? Wow, that's impressive. Um, so today I'm gonna talk, uh, be talking about um, a little bit different approach for AI generation, uh, the AI generation for specific products and brands. That's what we've been focusing for the last three years uh, here at Clade, and um, would like to give you uh, some quick and practical demos that you can try it after the presentation. So before we start, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Sophie, I'm the CEO of Let's Enhance. We are a deep tech company, and we are focusing on building vertical AI tools. We've been doing it for more than five years, and currently we have two tools, Let's Enhance, and um, it's an upscaler tool, and a Clay AI, the one I will be demoing today. Uh, before starting this company, I was working at Google, I was working with Stackstars, mostly focusing on marketing technologies, working with big e-commerce brands, ads, so, all my work after that was focusing on like how we can apply new tech for, um, for, for these, mostly these verticals. So a little bit about Let's Enhance. We started, build, we've been working with Generative AI for the last almost six years. We started our first tool in, back in 2018 when we launched the first application that can improve water quality. Since then we processed more than 200 million of images with AI, learned a lot of things that would work, what doesn't work, applications, and uh, we have a research team, so we ourselves training models from scratch um, and using them in the live workflow. So we work with all kinds of big and small customers, you can see some of them on the slide, um, and definitely working with a lot of uh, smaller brands as well, and individual creatives as well. So before I start, I wanted to see that photography is, is, is evolving in a tremendous space. Um, the photography era, as we know it, started uh, back to 1975, when the Steve Sasson uh, invented the first digital camera. At that time, he was working at Kodak, the whole photography era with hardware, device do you have? And we've been knowing, and it's still going uh, for the last 40 years. 2015, when the photography to 11 presentation, whatever you shot you take, they take actually 10 simultaneous. It kind of started the era of the, the to software and how good these algorithms are. And the last three, two years, we're all about how we as creatives can produce new results using the best and the most powerful tool that we have, which is natural language, which words. We don't have any limitations. It's all in Photography 3.0 by building the AI product Photography Studio that can take the shot, clean the background, fix slide, do all this post-processing, post-editing, and then take it to the next level to create new results and new visuals, uh, basically for, for, for your products, for your brands, and new applications. So the key difference with what we are doing at Clade with other image generations, some of them you've seen today, that most of the gym image generations are focusing on zero to one case. You have the prompt, you have the image, and they all train to get the style of your, out of your prompt as, as the max as you can. We focus on the geometry of that product, what kind of category is this, uh, and we generate around the product, blend in, focus on light, shadows, transparency, and all other adjustments to get to the best and photorealistic results. 
So um, let's get a little bit practical, and I will show you a few ways how you can, using Clade, generate a product shots for the brands that you use or objects that you work with. So we always start by uploading an image. That's a simple step. If you have a transparent PNGs or original files, that's the best. We love it. We will get you the best quality. If not, we will always remove the background to clean it up from the previous, um, from the previous background. And we can create visuals in three main ways. First by prompts, then by templates, and we can also reuse the backgrounds that you love um, so you can create new, new visuals with them. So the first one is prompt description. Prompt description is hard because <laughs> uh, prompt description differs by any AI tool and every AI tool responds differently for the prompts. Um, there is a different you know, other generators if you really want to stand out in product photography. You, the, this is the golden formula and it's super simple. You start with the product, then you have a placement on the grass, on the table, um, kitchen counter, um, on sand beach. Then you describe the backgrounds. Very, very important is the general vibe. If you don't have a general vibe, you will get more boring images. You know, like these systems are really, really responsive to like sunny days, emotions, and that gives like the best prompts that create the best backgrounds. Some um, there is some tricks also to add some keywords like award-winning photography, 8K. Um, you can try it all. I haven't seen huge prompt as well, but the core is product placement, background, and vibe. And this is how it works for the product that we generated. Um, I was using some of the mocha products that we have, and I was trying to generate the pinas uh, about giving a little bit more control to the scenes. And while we're working with a bigger brand, we need to make sure that we have more control and we can produce more complex scenes. So that's how we created the templates. It's the possibility to reuse real or generated photos as a reference uh, to make sure that, yeah, we can really, really control the scene. So we start with image, then we can upload some background as a reference, and our AI will copy the geometry of that product, and you, place it, you can place it on some um, round table or pedestrian, and it will work. And then we can customize it. We can specify the color, like I want this scene to be light gray or dark blue, and we can add additional details with a prompt. So in this case, we have three inputs to the system, product placement and the scene, color and the prompt. And we got like much more consistent, closer to that original uh, visual, um, which a lot of actually brand approves, because. Uh, we make sure that nothing, um, nothing pop-ups there. No logos, no artistic styles. It all depends on the reference. So let me show you how it works. Okay. Oh. I was, I was, <laughs> I was worried if uh, if we don't have live. Um, yeah, but first we always start by uploading the product. Uh, we place it on our, the kitchen counter. I was using the real photo from Shutterstock as a reference. Then we place the product in the scene, get a little bit of detailing, color, prompt, and we can use the best option that we like. And after that, we always generate in square ratio as many other generators, but we can regenerate in for Instagram, for website, for any ratio that you need. And the last and not the least, um, the, it's a frequent question like Sophie, but what if I have the, the background that I really like, or I had this library of these backgrounds, can I use them? And the quick, quick answer is yes. Uh, we also build the possibility to reuse background and it works in absolutely simple way. We take the product, we take the background, and in order to make it less fake and just more pasted, you just paste the product in the background and we just generate a little bit of shadow and light. So you can still like use the background that you like and make sure that the product is blending in realistically. 
So for the sake of demo, I will be using the image that I generated by Midjourney. Um, and yeah, let's see. Yeah, you can upload the image to our composition tool. Select the image that you, uh, that you generated, recite the product, move it, place it when you want it to be, and just click generate. And we will just be generating a little bit of reflection shadows to make sure that product doesn't feel pasted. Nothing will be changed in your scene, so you can still use it as you like and for all the products that you like. And it's approved by the brand, the brand agency if you work for some uh, brands that are very, very specific to their requirements. Definitely, uh, we are still in the early days and we are still working on giving more controls to designers and artists about the generated scene. So this is some of the features that are coming next. We are working on in painting, ability to upload multiple products, light control, and very frequent requests, fine tuning on styles. So guys, if, you, if it's something relevant for you, we are always looking for beta testers. Uh, if you would like to beta test our new features, we can give them an access. Once we, they get live, please just leave your contact details. I will message you and will give you an access um, once we have uh, a new features available. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you.